And we're back in the room of Miss Farley. Could be the big White House. I'm not sure that of that yet. The last time we've uh, read a lot of these documents, we learned about the aliens and the seeds. And the story is getting pretty interesting, I think. Um, okay, a projector. Let's see if we can use it. We can even rotate it. I guess we need to place it on that screen where the 15 is. This is definitely the house, the, the house at the beginning. Welcome, thank you. Uh, let's see, let's rotate the thing. A little bit like th over there. Yes, can we activate it? Uh, what does this tell us? A zero has been added, or a circle. Could be have something to do with the telephone line. Let's see if we can turn it even further. No, that's just... But maybe we can, actually. Is this it? Does it mean 105? Honestly can't tell for sure. Let's leave it at this for now until we figure out what the code means or where we can use it. Other than the telephone we've seen, I'm not sure where we can enter this code. But yeah, the telephone were. I don't know. Letters and numbers, I think. Let's see if we can open the door from this side. That's a backer item. People sitting at train tracks. Oh, come on. We can't open it from here as well. Oh, we can. It was too early. There we go. We're back here. Another backer reward item and another notebook. Welcome to Hunrath. Please give us a bit of information about you so we can get to know you a little better. Ah, it's a guest book. Name. Date your... Came from... Please use four-digit year. We cannot actually do that. Where you came from, country and city, circumstance under which you were taken. Please note any dangers you noticed. Interesting. Emptied and filed. Okay, there we go. Samuel Karen, January 2017. Oh, it's 2017 already. Manakana, Madagascar. I had just arrived and was driving my supply truck along the coast south of Manakana when I recall being washed away and the seed appeared it's funny because I'm assuming that Samuel and maybe the others have read all the documents on the table and so they know that it was a seed that took them Uzlel Regenbogen from Germany Lübeck the last thing I recall is a large rumbling while I was hiding in the cellar of a vacant building. I ran toward a bright light in the stairwell. 26 years old. Maria Gallego from Mexico. On my boat and bad storm. <laughs> okay. They all speak English. And Fangkuya. I was thinking it was a Chinese person, but it, it really isn't. Because he nay, he came from Portland, Portland, United States of America, skiing my hood. Very elaborate. Um, okay, that was the guest book. We learned not much from that. More games. What's it? The poker and the cards and stuff. I actually need more to go on. So I hope we can find more stuff. What is this? A recorder. 
plate. No, plate. Doesn't do anything? Why isn't it doing anything? There's a cassette in it. Oh, we turn it around. Okay. Let's see what we have now. We all lost everything. There we go. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Sam and you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that blast of light. And that's where all of our news stories began, that light. It streaked across the sky, mesmerizing, but unnerving. Some of you were alone, I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her. Rejoiced as if it was some forebearer of good fortune. Vera, you said you were all smiling. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, and yet Wow, that was creepy and very captivating. That story of the woman describing that alien phenomenon was just, I don't know, was at the point of my seat. 
And after that, the great editing, sound editing of all those people who've been transported to this place like we were, we experienced the same thing at the start of the game. Now we know more about the significance. Um, sounds a bit like Interstellar. <laughs> which is very cool. I like the build-up in this game. Okay, what do we have here? Drawings. It doesn't tell us what to do next though yet. We still have to yet to find a clue of how to continue. What do we have here? One, seed pair. Two, find planets with similar atmospheres. Three, swap. Four, tree from seed. F there is no five. Okay, we have Earth, Soria, it's a planet for the Mofang, and Heart. Is that the Sun? The more planets over here. Heart superposition. Heart connected path open when mature. Four species meet. What happens at fruition? Swap where? Home? When? Maybe dead? More seed pairs scattered throughout the universe? Why scattering? All the questions. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What does this tell us? It's a backer item. My brother, small and night, nice, sings constantly as noisy as a rock concert. If only he would be quiet. <laughs> It's a nice backer item. The thing about these backer items is I've played a decent number of games by now that have items like these into the game. But they're kind of um, outplaced, I think, because they're not really a part of the game. They're just there. It kind of breaks immersion a little bit, just to be honest. I understand that uh, the game got backed and people put money into this game and wouldn't have been ever, ever have been made if it weren't for those backers but it's kind of kind of annoying to me not really a big criticized thing but you know just naming it getting it out there all right still what do we have to do we don't have a clue we've learned so much i feel we know a lot more about why we are here well, not really why but uh, how we came to get here and what happened to the place but i still don't know what to do next um think 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 there's this this could be a clue of what to do next let's just play around with it a bit see what happens if we turn it A little bit more, a little bit more. I think it should be pointing at this, but then... What does the circle mean? That this is the place where we are now? I'm not sure, I'm really not sure. That doesn't make sense too. In the middle at the yard, the tree and the tower. That is where the uh, the trains are, right? No, not really. This is where 
or is it? I have a little bit of difficulty reading that map. But there should be a reason for us to uh, turn this. Can we turn it the other way? Does that give us any information? Uh, I think we really have to point it at that. Like this. Right in the middle, which gives us 105 or something like it. Okay, but what to do? What to do? What to do? Um, Check the letter before. Ooh, what is this? I haven't seen that before. But yeah, it doesn't get us where we want to be. Um, I have the feeling we have to do something here, <coughs> right at this tree. But what? But what? That is the question. This door is locked from the other side. You can actually see through there. And there's this gate that we can't do anything about. And there's the matter of this water tower supplying water to the tree and a pipe coming out of it. And the matter of this uh, rail. And our means to get to this place. Let's activate this again. Well, we have to stand close to it. This is the tree. Yeah. It has been here in Hunrock for as long as anyone can remember. Okay. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse. Greenhouse. Cell we live in. Our ecosystem. Okay, yeah. It has provided many surprises over the years, mm -hmm. including some interesting seeds, seeds that you will learn more about. I learn about that? Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. Mm -hmm. But we do know it should be cherished, cherished. and protected. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't give us a clue of what to do. Could be something we can do with the laser beam on this card. Maybe we need to aim at something. Oh man, 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 man. Uh, let's try and find out more about this place again. Maybe he can tell me more, Cecil. Okay, he's talking about the red, the red beam again. How does one disable it then? I'm not even sure if I can get there anymore. Well, let's try it one more time to get there. Last time I couldn't get this elevator up again. And I'm not sure why that was. It's, it's really stuck. It's just... Stuck as it can be.
could be that we have to Ooh, that could be it that we have to point the laser beam at this uh, mofang this thing but and then we can disable it yeah i don't know just maybe 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 is there a way to actually point at it i guess we could if we were to locate our laser over here but before we try that let's just check upstairs one more time there's a matter of this thing that needs power we can't do anything with it yet let's read it again this note battery power test first charging 10% charged yeah it doesn't give us a clue of what to do Plus, it needs, it kind of needs power, I think. Hmm. Can we turn this thing around? Oh, we actually can. <laughs> I missed that. I totally missed that. I guess we can point it. Oh, yeah, now I understand, maybe. Turn it around a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit. Can we? Uh. Yeah, it dissolves the stone. And it was pointed at this. But yeah, that only tells us that we can dissolve stones like that. I'm not sure if there's a stone like that in there. So, uh, yeah... Is there anything else we can point it at? Let's see. Let's see if we point it the other way. Let's see how far we can go with it. No, this is as far as we can turn it. Alright. Um, and I wanted to go a little bit over there again. Yeah, there's no way of getting there by foot. This thing. Now the water supply starts again. Ah, man. All right. For now, I'm going to wrap this episode up. The next time, I will figure out what to do. I don't think I will be showing the parts where I just explore. Um, I hope to have something um, more tangible so that we can continue. So till then.